feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. They keep saying yeah. that throughout this entire episode. But I think remember, I'm this. We're this close to finding Rachel. My power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. And then, are we even that close hear, to Chloe? finding her? Are we gonna find yes, her at sir. the end of this episode? I'm doubtful. Maybe if we want to be optimistic. Are we going to that barn now? I think we are. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. At least it's daylight though. That would be a lot scarier if it was at night. They should have done that actually. Made this uh, Whoa, be at night time when they... Fresh tire tracks. When we went here. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Is this going to be where the dark room is? I think it might be. Um, assuming we find a way in from the back, maybe? Well, that's easy enough. Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! Oh, yes! Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. What is Blair Witch? Come on, Supermax. I think there's a film called Blair Witch Project that I was interested in watching, hey, but I didn't get around to it yet. But I don't know if that's an actual phrase or whatever based on something. Louder, or if they're actually referencing the Jeez, movie here. That is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. <sighs> Chloe's never doing anything. She's always like rustling something or doing something on the cute computer. But never brings anything resourceful yes, out of it. old Prescott clippings. <sighs> but that can't be the only thing here. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Oh god, I can't read that. It's all with squiggly lines. You can read it if you like, but I don't know how to read that. So, does that say me? <laughs> Looks like it says me. Oh, what's that? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Well, you don't know until you push the button, silly. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. By Solomon of Friday the 13th movie. What? What's up here? Where do those pillies go? Is there any way we can get up? Oh, ground. Oh, is there a cellar or something underneath? <sighs> Nothing here. Ah. Uh, I bet you're at... Are you sure there's not anything underneath here? There's got to be something on the floor, though. Come on. Damn, lots of info here. Where is that cellar? Whoa. Here we go. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. <laughs> I think we have to get that pitchfork now. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. Let me know the Pretty sure this old pitchfork oh, will open pick a up. padlock. Try again, Max. Oh, hey. And we're going to use that rusty button that she said wouldn't work. I'm assuming, right? Am I right? No, we, I'm wrong. <laughs> so uh, how do we get that to pull it? I'm sure there's a rope over here. Chloe, can you give me a hand? 
Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> oh, is that a good idea? Oh, that's just a box for us so we can climb onto. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Yeah, then jump on it then. Oh, we have to look up here for some reason. Tell me if you need any help. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Okay, let's find a heavy thing then. Oh, I almost walked off the edge there. I wasn't looking where the, the keys were. Oh no! I have a uh, elves outside of my house, and they they're always you know making their sound like that, but I can never find it. I think there's I'm sure there's more than one, but I can never find out where the the sound's coming from. It's uh, a bit peculiar. Could just be a squirrel doing it, to be honest. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Okay, there we go. Attach. And now we're gonna kick it down. And that will pull that uh, cellar door right up. Why are we pulling it? Shouldn't we be pushing it? Oh, for some reason we're doing it the other way. Oh, I guess because it wouldn't fall as low. Yeah, that makes sense. Max Giver strikes again. Okay, let's get in here now. Uh, this might be spooky. We'll find out. I'm wondering if I'm going to do a Damn, cut here and that will really annoy you guys. I don't know. It really depends on uh, how things get timed. But I do try and end things what on a particularly good hang or Jackpot. where things are sort of concluded. So whenever there's something exciting about to happen or if there's a fade out to a new location, yeah, I'll cut there typically. I try to at least. Kind of place. A Prescott, of course. So we'll see where this takes us. I don't I don't know when they'll cut. I never do when I'm recording. I typically record all in one take and then cut up as I'm editing. Try and keep it between uh, 10 to 15 minutes long. This bunker is so surreal. Okay, I thought I was expecting a creepy cellar. Um, I'm sure you guys were expecting the same thing. I wasn't expecting this security thing here. <laughs> I'm expecting gold behind uh, this this uh, armored door now instead of like you know the, the, the scariest monster ever. Can we tell because of how often the buttons being clicked? I think I think I've seen this actually once in the movie that you could uh, see which buttons you could get that would be most likely to press, and I think it's these three because they're faded. They've been pushed so many times, so we'll try a combination of these buttons. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yes. I told you guys it was. I thought uh, that only worked in the movie. It was some combination of those three. Yeah, yeah. She even she said it. It was one of the combination of those uh, three buttons. Open sesame. I saw that in the movie, and it worked. I don't know if it actually <laughs> works in real life, but it worked in the video game and so movies. I'm ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, that, that implies he has more than one. Ugh. I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife. 
so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. Best, well, that's a bit weird to end off things. Uh, best, Dr. Jacoby. Jacoby, hey. Now let's look at the duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Is it? You kind of need duct tape now and again. Well, the okay, I'll look at this now. Art. What's this note say? Whoa. Oh, what is going on? More text I can't read. Father. Oh, we found it. We found these things that keep coming up in the end. So it's all about the press cots. Oh, we've uncovered some stuff now. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Oh, Victoria's okay, next, I guess. Oh no, Kate. No, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Jeez. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Obviously right? not. Chloe, look at her face. <sighs> She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Well, she's really freaked out. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. So is this just a whole ploy to get provocative pictures of young girls? Like... I don't really understand. What, why? Oh my god, even got a couch just to watch. Jeez. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Yeah, I'm a bit confused because I'm like... How does that tie into this whole idea of the apocalypse? Do they have nothing to do with that? Is this the dark room? I don't know. I would imagine if it was the dark room, it would be more shove it in your face. <gasps> this is the dark room! Maybe it is, and I'm just, it's just jumping right over my head. Because uh, it's not explicitly saying it's the dark room, it doesn't seem that dark. Well, you know, <laughs> with that sort of thing, but I don't think that's what they mean by the dark room. Maybe. I, I I don't know. Why would the dark room be here too? Underneath a, like a, a barn. Would it? I don't know. Uh, I'm just still, I'm so confused. I remember saying that I was very confused in uh, episode one. At the end. I still am. I still don't know what's going on. Okay, let's just head back up. Uh, actually, no, a couple more things. Is there going to be anything else? This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. You know what? Uh, that's actually an interesting thought. Um, Rachel... Oh jeez, we're locked in. No! Uh, Rachel went missing. But Kate didn't. So what does that say? Like, why did that happen? You know, if they're doing something here, like getting pictures and whatnot, why, why did they get potentially rid of one of them? Maybe killed them? I don't know. Maybe, one, maybe uh, Rachel ran away? I'm not quite sure. It just seems a bit cute peculiar that they did one thing but then a different thing for another one of them.
sure we're gonna find out now because uh, she mentioned the junkyard. I think that's where we're headed and she might be there buried. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get down that uh, line of dark roads, but we'll see. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Oh, we're back here. This exact setting. Thought it'd be a bit different, but yeah, we're in the exact place. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? It's kind of ironic because uh, they they have a little hideout spot near here. Holy stop! Look. And the idea that she might be buried here is Please a bit don't. weird. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. Really? Okay. Wasn't really expecting that. Well, to be honest, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, the outcome of her. It was just such a, a distant thing. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I loved her so much. So it seems like she didn't run away. But does, the question still stands, like, why did they kill her, potentially, and not Kate? I'm a bit confused on that one. And why are they doing this? Like, what, 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 what purpose? Still so confused. This thing, as well. I saw this in episode two, and uh, episode two, uh, when we were last at the junkyards, and in episode one when we were having that sort of fast-forward vision at the lighthouse. Jeez, that that music's really loud, by the way, for me. 